How's it guys? Hope you're surviving the lockdown blues and are uh, coping okay during the lockdown time and doing lots of 3D printing. Sean from Print or Die has sent me a Sun Hokey Sirius printer to have a look at. Uh, he sent it to me a few weeks ago and I've been playing around with it in the meantime. All in all, it's a good printer, uh, but I really, there were a couple of problems that Sean is going to be working on. Go check out Sean's website, Print or Dime, and have a look at what he's offering there. I don't think the 3D printer is quite on there yet, but it will be there shortly. So check it out, and uh, this guy does great service and works really hard on his printers. He also does a great deal of quality control before he sends anything out. So if you purchase a printer from him, he'll do a whole bunch of quality control on it first, change a couple of things, and then ship out the uh, the printer to you. So in line with this, I took the series for a couple of weeks and I've been trying to get it to work properly. And I had a couple of issues. I did finally come right. And when I came right, boy, did it come right. It is a great printer. It prints some amazing prints. But initially I had a couple of problems with it where the uh, Bowden tube coupler kept on popping out. So I tried to put it back in and it would not stay in halfway through the print, it would fail by popping out. So I was gonna just replace the coupler, uh, but I found that the coupler had a strange size in it and I didn't have anything in my spares cabinet. So I then put one of my own uh, extruders on and I replaced the whole entire extruder, put my extruder on and started printing with that. Then I realized that the printer was now running in the wrong direction, the motor. So I had to flash the firmware. Um, after a little bit of work, we got the firmware flashed and we got into the latest version of Marlin. And we are now running with Marlin 2 on this printer. And boy, am I getting some good prints out of it. The printer is well made. It's very much on the Ender 3 style. They've changed things around a little bit by moving the stepper motors to the other side. So the Z axis is now on the other side. I'll show you that here. So you'll see the stepper that I have in there. So that is my extruder from my end of the all metal one that I put in there. Uh, that is working like an absolute charm. And you'll see that if you look at this printer, all the, uh, the Z axis is on the right hand side. The motor for the X axis is on the right hand side. So they did flip a few things around here. You can also see that they took the power supply off and they've moved that. And I actually really like where the power supply is sitting. They took the power supply off the Z axis. And what they've done is they've now moved it underneath. So if you look over here, that is the power supply over there. So it's a very neat construction. The motherboard is on the front of the printer and you'll notice there's no plugs there. So what they've done is they've hidden the uh, USB port underneath here, which is really nice. It's out of the way, you can't knock it. It's really nice. You can't knock it, you can't bump the cable or damage the cable once it's plugged in. So the cable is neatly plugged out of the way. If you add another carriage on there for an octoprint style, it'll keep that cable out of the way. So I think it's a little, nice little bit of thought that they've done with that. It's also got feet that it stands on that stand quite high off the ground and that allows air to flow underneath the printer uh, from the from the motherboard when the motherboard is being cooled speaking of the motherboard man did they go all out with this they put an mks gen l in there unfortunately they put a4988 drivers in there but those can easily be swapped out for tmc 2208 drivers which is something i would highly recommend uh, Sean might actually even do that on the pro mode that he's going to upgrade on this printer. So it's quite an exciting change that will come to this printer because the TMC2208 drivers really make the printer print quietly and well. I love those drivers. They're really amazing. So I'm a little bit disappointed that they put the A4988 in there, but I can see why it cuts the cost of the printer. So they've put the Gen L board in there and I flashed with the model. They've got a full screen, uh, full size screen, the same as the Ender 3, a little push button in the front that you can toggle everything and go through your menus. It's also got a magnetic build plate. So I'm gonna take the magnetic build plate off here and that just pops off. And once you print it and you wanna pop your print off, it's just flexing the, the build plate like this and it flexes really well to easily pop off any prints that are on there. And then it just simply snaps back on in place. So let's have a look at some of these prints that we printed out of this. So the first thing I print was a calibration cube. 
This calibration cube is probably close to one of the best calibration cubes I've ever printed. It came out amazingly. It, it, the side walls are so clean and so clear. It's a little bit of an elephant's foot at the bottom here, but that can be adjusted out. And then the next thing I printed was, of course, the Benchy. And the Benchy also came out absolutely gorgeous. It's a little bit of uh, a, a ruffling on the overhang over there. And on that side there, you'll see there's a little bit of, of um, damage on the overhang. But other than that, the print came out absolutely gorgeous. It came out so clean and so beautiful. So, you know, once I got over the problems I had with the printer, especially with the extruder, which was the main problem that I've had with the printer, um, once I got over that, the rest of the prints have come out absolutely beautifully. Look at this this vase mode. It came out so clean and so look at those those vertices on there. They came out so clean. They really are beautiful. Uh, so yeah, at first when I first got this printer, I didn't get to assemble the printer. Sadly, it came to me fully assembled. And when I first got it, I was very excited to get it up and running put it on and then the extruder failed on me three times. It was a little bit disappointing, but once I got that extruder swapped out, which is something that I've raised with Sean, which Sean will obviously raise with uh, Sun Hokey, that that extruder is, is not sufficient. Okay, it's a plastic extruder. So Sean will swap that out with, with an all metal or probably with a Titan extruder or something like that, the, the clone that he markets. And other than that, this printer prints really well. I am really impressed with it. Uh, my first impressions were, okay, yeah, it's just another Ender 3, but out of the box, I think it prints better than the Ender 3 out of the box. Now, my Ender 3 prints exceptionally well, but I realized the other day, because I compare it to everything I, I use and I, I review and I look at, and I realized that, yeah, my Ender 3 didn't come like that. When I first got it, there were issues. And once I replaced the motherboard and the extruder, things just got so much better. And that printer prints beautifully, absolute workhorse. And I believe that this printer could do the same. Once you get those little issues sorted out, this printer is gonna print so well. Um, what else can I tell you about the printer? Uh, you know, it is, it is pretty much the same as an Ender 3, the way it's built. Uh, the quality of the build is good. It's an all metal build. There's no plastic parts. Uh, the the quality is really good. I love the uh, the power supply being flat in the back there. It adds some more stability to the back. And other than that, it keeps it out of the way and keeps it clean. So guys, if you like this video, let me know. Please subscribe uh, to, the, to the channel. We want to build the channel. I have had a lot more subscribers lately. So to my subscribers, thank you. Enjoy this video and give me a thumbs up if you like the video and let me know what you want to see in further. Thank you and God bless. That's it for today. Check back soon for more videos. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. This helps us understand what you would like to see. If you want to see more of our videos, consider subscribing to our channel and press the notification icon to be notified when a new video comes out. Post comments, let us know what you want to see. Tell us if you like this video or if there's any other subject matter that you would like to see. Please consider supporting us on Patreon. We buy everything ourselves in this channel and really want to grow this channel.